good. It yeah, was it was good. It was great yeah, fun. Yeah. yeah. It was good. Yeah. What's coming up for uh, Dark Swan? Uh, darkness. <laughs> um, uh, quite a struggle. Uh, you know, Emma has, is facing the fact that she is truly herself still, but she is tethered to darkness that is consuming her. So um, it is a, a very intense uh, daily, moment to moment struggle for her to try to find a way to navigate uh, everything that's going on inside her at this point and, and trying to find a, a path to separating herself from the darkness. I said that? When did I say that? I think Hoke said that. I think it was Hoke said I that. I never said that. I actually speaks out in words. When did you say that? I think it was one of the episodes. I'm sure somebody said it. Somebody anyway, said somebody <laughs> said actually speaks louder than words. Okay, so this is something... I know everybody keeps getting mad at me for saying this, but this is just the truth of the storytelling. The truth of the storytelling is that she sacrificed herself for everyone, that the darkness was going to consume the entire town. And so she had to make a split-second decision knowing that, that, that the source... What's his name? The, the, the sorry, Apprentice. The Apprentice, thank you. That the Apprentice had said, unless the darkness is tethered to one particular person, then it will consume everything that it will it will destroy everything so she's facing the entire town everyone she loves her family her son everyone is going to be completely consumed with darkness unless she tethers herself to it and the darkness went after regina first because she was so susceptible to it and so she is obviously initially saving regina and as i said on the panel earlier today if it were only regina i still think she would make the decision but just to clarify for the storytelling she is doing this to save everyone um, so I, it, it's a, that's a tough question to answer because the, the choice wasn't choosing between Hook and Regina. It's choosing between everyone, including Hook, being destroyed by darkness or sacrificing herself and hoping that they'll find a way to help her out of the darkness. So the show has such you know, themes of, of good and evil and it's just carried through throughout the season. So what are some of your thoughts on the existence of evil overall? Well, I, I, I mean, I don't know from a literal standpoint. I just think, especially the way that the stories are told on our show, um, what Eddie and Adam are doing a wonderful job of presenting is the idea that no one's entirely good and no one's entirely bad. And that um, no one is born good and no one is born bad. You know, it's the poster that's here, evil isn't born, it's made. You know, and it's this idea that the circumstances in our lives lead us to certain decisions. And sometimes those are good decisions and sometimes those are bad decisions. Sometimes those are things we're proud of and sometimes those are things that we're ashamed of. And um, and different personalities take to different things and, and different baggage in people's life. lives lead to different things. And so, um, you know, we're, we're dealing with the idea that it's not as if evil is just some force that we can say, oh, it's just evil. It's that we have to take responsibility for the light and the dark within ourselves. And that both things are a part of our being as human beings. And, and that's being played out in all of these characters and through all these stories. And so one stretch of time in someone's life they may make great choices and choose to be a hero and then there may be another stretch of time in their life where there's something going on in their life where they fall to a place where they're making choices that are not heroic and could be seen as evil or villainous and we're all capable of both and every day is a choice and so I think that I think ultimately that that is the exploration of good and evil on the show is, is knowing that every day you can see that with Emma, she had to choose to take the darkness on yeah. you know what I mean Rumpel had to choose to take the darkness in. Yeah. Then he embraced it. You know what I mean? So it's like Rumpel wasn't always yeah. this incredibly evil man. He was just a man who was a coward and sort of didn't know what to do. And he decided, you know, he took the darkness and let it be there. So anyway, that's my two pence. Yeah, but you're right. Well, you're right. You're right.